such a good show. You're listening to the sounds of the underground here on your Brothers in Arms podcast. <laughs> Have you made up your own uh, music? Yes. Now? I yes. appreciate that. That was that yes. was very low and throaty and <clears throat> that was good. <laughs> <laughs> no, can't take that. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't take that. Hi, everybody. Hi. Good evening. Uh, welcome back to our podcast. Uh, we are your three brothers from the same mother and father. We are your brothers in arms. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is episode 98. Episode 98. Can you believe we've been doing this for almost... We're, we're pushing three years this September, October, right? Three. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It will be three, three years, years in September. Man, I, we've been doing Fast. this almost as long as COVID. We started, it's funny actually you say that because we did. We started September of 2019 and then COVID started February of 2020. That's true. But this it isn't was... in response to COVID, ladies and gentlemen. No, no, no we, this, has been, this has been in the works. This has been in the making. In response? In making bacon, bacon, pancakes. Make... Bacon, <laughs> pancakes, banana pancakes. I call that a twofer. I got two. Yep. I got two. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you I guys are like trying to get me. Right out the bat. The songs, Let's go, ladies the songs, and gentlemen. The songs, the songs <laughs> just pop in my head just so fast. Pancake, and he's got three of them rolling. Stop with the cookies. Oh. Stop you it. Make, Sorry. You make Being me envious. Jerk. And I love you. <laughs> oh, yeah. as he covers his mustache yeah that's gonna help <laughs> hi everybody welcome back to our podcast we're glad that you're here uh my name is patrick the guy over there in the dark blue with the dark hat that's uh that's greg and then alex who's munching the cookie yeah uh-huh munching the cookie we Jerk. still love you yeah uh and the fabulous mustache. Oh, and the daddy beard, by the way. Yep. That's nice. Uh, the, yeah. the daddy beard. Yeah. So envious. The daddy beard. Yeah, we'll, for, we'll talk about me. that in a little bit. Yeah. For many uh, reasons. But, uh, but welcome back, everybody. Sorry we've taken the last two-week hiatus. Uh, life has happened. Good life, by the way. Extremely good life. Uh, but uh, this is the first chance that we've had, the three of us, to get back together uh, on the podcast Uh cycle if you will um we did get to talk just a, a little bit uh with with greg uh while he was on vacation but it, it wasn't long enough or clean enough that we could uh talk to you in, in a podcast form so wi-fi uh, sucks in the caribbean yeah it sure does so <laughs> with that being said it's terrible we're, we're back at it again ladies and gentlemen it is the 10th of may 2022 uh it's 9 36 p.m on the eastern seaboard Thanks for joining us. Uh, you can actually be with us live right now on twitch.tv slash Brothers in Arms podcast. Uh, I try to tweet every time. Actually, I had to be reminded tonight by our youngest. Thank you, Alex. I had to be reminded that we, uh, we, we tweet out before we jump on this thing together. Uh, and you can find that on Twitter at your BIA podcast. At your BIA podcast. Um, the boys now have access to that, not just myself. So... Uh, if you see things popping up on Twitter throughout the week, uh, take it in. Uh, take it as a part of being a part of us throughout the week. We don't exactly share Facebook, but we do share Twitter. So uh, hit us up on that. We'd love to talk to you throughout the week. Maybe give us some ideas about some things that we might be able to talk about or expand uh, on what we're sharing right now. Uh, because we love talking about our week. We love checking in with each other and making sure that uh, all three of us are doing good. Uh, and our respective families, but uh, we also like to do this for you as well, uh, because you come along and join us in this. So uh, thank you to the faithful eight who keep downloading our podcast uh, within the first week of its dropping. There are eight individuals who download it every single week, like day one, dead hour one. And uh, we thank you very much for that. Even if two of you are bots, we Mom. thank you. Mom. Yeah. <laughs> Dad. Grandma. Yeah, there's three. <laughs> uh, my, my daughter, she she faithfully downloads. Thank you, babe. 
Uh, you can also check out uh, these past episodes. Not only do we post it on our, our podcast website on Podbean, but we also post these videos on YouTube. Uh, and you can check those out at uh, Brothers in Arms Podcast. That's all one word. Uh, check us out. We'd love to have your view over there as well. So we don't do this to make money. We don't do this to uh, pad our pockets. Uh, we do this to check in with each other, share with our family. And who knows? You know, maybe down the line when uh, when y'all's kids are adults <laughs> yeah. or my kids start having kids, please don't rush it. Please, please. No, no, no. Take your time. Please, yes. Take your time, please. Yes. Um, they, Pretty they please. These videos and go, man, my uncles were something. Or, man, my dad was cool. Was cool. <laughs> 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 he, ain't cool no, he ain't cool no more, but he oh, was no, back man. in the day. He lost that. But, uh, but, yeah, so thanks. Thanks for joining us. We, we truly appreciate it. We, so, uh, we have a Johnson in the chat, guys. We have a... Really? Yeah, JT John eighty four is back again. One of my favorites. Hey, buddy. Hi. Back to the party. Glad you're here. We are, in fact. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. So, what's been happening, fellas? What's What's good in the hood? What's uh, in your neighborhood? Feeling good. Less than twenty four hours ago, I had a beard. Yeah. <laughs> I we had did. a beard. I don't have, video, I, I don't have video proof, but we do. But there have, are photo. There are photo. There's there photo are, evidence. Yes. I had yes. a beard. 72 hours ago, I was in the Caribbean. And it was warm. And it was very nice. <laughs> yeah, it's cold here. Is yeah. It yeah, well, it got up to 70 today. It was kind of, it got, it got pretty. Fellas, I'm in West Virginia, and it was 88. Oh, yeah, it's colder. Yeah, it's, it's warmer there than it is here. 88, and you're in the low 70s? Uh-huh. Yeah. It was, like, it was like 50-something this morning. Yep. 40, 40, 45, 46. It's May 10th. I know. It was a little cool this morning, but it warmed up. It just took a minute. We're on the coast, man. Yeah. <clears throat> you guys got Enjoy. mountains to surround you. No, I've I've got a really nasty river running in my backyard, but whatever. <laughs> That'll do it. It's got a great name though. That'll do. It's got a really great name. Ohio. Mm. O H. I. Hi. Oh. Right. 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 Smelling is not his strong suit. I I O. He loves the I O. I love you, Marine. O H. I, oh, yes, yes. I don't have. I. I. <laughs> now I'm looking around. I don't have any snacks on the desk. I just have my Aww. water and yeah, and my cider. Dang. It's all right. Alex is looking for you. He's already got the cookies. Jerk. Oh, I got you, man. Oh, look, he's got one just for you. I've got a marker. Nah, I'm not. Right. <laughs> just for you. <laughs> mm. ah. Ah, I can smell it from here. <laughs> Smorgasbord. 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 Uh, <laughs> apparently, it was 85 right outside of Louisville. Ooh. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> and, and there was a national incident, like, there was right down the road. Down. Right, yeah, there was a... There's a horse race and another national incident, like just down the road from where we used to live in Owensboro. Oh, please tell me. Yeah, did you not see oh, the the, the, the car chase? Yeah, the yeah, it was in Evansville with the the convict and the uh, and the the the, the corrections officer. Yeah, yeah, the, the corrections officer. I I really hate how that ended, but the fact it was that they went from where they were. What was it, Alabama? Alabama. I started in Alabama and they ended up just north of Kentucky in Evansville, Indiana. Yeah. That's, boy, that's of, a run for your money. Of all yeah. the places you yeah. went. Right? Evansville, you went to Indiana. Evansville, Indiana. I can't and think you... of anything like worthy of going there a long distance. No offense to anyone that I'm no, sorry. No, We're, if we all. get any, no, not trying to set off any hate, but it's just like of all the. Why? But okay, <laughs> I guess <laughs> it sort yeah, of makes. That's, that's just... I don't know, man. Whatever. On the way to Canada. 
Yeah, Just saying. you know what? It sort Maybe. of makes. Maybe. Maybe. But my, my wife this morning, she said uh, one of the, the comments by the the warden of the, the whether it was the warden or the, the lead guy or whatnot of this prison that this guy is going back to is that he's going to stay in solitary in handcuffs and, and leg shackles, but he, he's never getting out again. Yeah. There's something to that effect like, yep. whoa. I don't care if his rights are violated. That's what he said. I don't care. Yeah, if his those rights were are violated. Wow. That was that was brutal. That's intense. That's intense. Well, hey, like... did you guys get out to vote today? I didn't know I had to vote today. No. Is it local then, or was that might have been a local there? election? That's a that's a local election. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're confused. Yeah. No. There's, I did it. Okay. There was, I did it. I'm I'm proud of you. <laughs> do your do your civic duty, sir. I exercised my right. Yes. yes. Which is awesome. <laughs> but no, there's no uh there was no no elections in our area. No primaries, no. There's there's uh was a gubernatorial race I think right now in Virginia. How do you so spell that? Did you say goon? Goob, goober, goob, goober, 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 goober. I like gubernatorial. Those, goober. those are chocolate covered nuts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a goober. She's a I, goober. I like goobers. Put your goobers in your RC cola. And you get them at the bottom. Ugh. Mm -hmm. I, I've Ugh. never had a taste for RC cola. Yeah, that's one of those. Sorry that was anybody out there, but no. <clears throat> Never. We're we're on a Kentucky kick right now. Ooh, man, where's RC Cola made? Anybody? Anybody? Um, Bueller? Bueller? I'm checking it out. It I sounds like RC the like home, but I think she's RC got the kid. Cola. Uh, invented by Claude A. Hatcher in 1905. Originally created. Hampton Hatcher Grocery Store. Coke Cola Syrup. It's manufactured now by Dr. Pepper. So I guess anywhere Dr. Pepper's done. 1905. Where'd it start, though? History. Here we go. Columbus, Georgia. Yep, that makes sense. Columbus, makes Georgia. Royal Crown Cola. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, God bless all you Columbus Georgians <laughs> and your RC Cola and your moon pies. Because <laughs> mm. that goes yeah. together like... Uh, RC Cola and moon pie? Ah, there you go. That's what I... Yeah. <laughs> RC... I that one. I'm done. <laughs> RC Cola and moon pie. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, moon pies. I okay. Testimony time. I've never been a fan of moon pies. Really? No. Nope. Oh, it's, it's the texture, man. I, I don't care if it's a regular, if it's a banana, if it's. I've even had a. I think a strawberry one, maybe. But, ladies and gentlemen, I I apologize from the deepest part of my southern heart. I cannot. For the life of me, go for a moon pie and say, I just got to have. Just It's it's not for me. I don't remember who entered it. We were, I don't, boy, we were living in Louisville or Owensboro, I yeah. think, at the time. And uh, that was the, somewhere there I was introduced to the RC Cola and a moon pie. Like, that is, that is someone, someone at the, at, yeah, at the core or... Interesting. Yeah, no. It, no. It was little. Huh. And it was Donna Sue Probus. Okay. That makes okay. sense now. All right then. There's actually an RC Moon Pie Festival. What? Yep. Third Saturday in June in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Bell Buckle? Bell Buckle, Tennessee. No tea. Yep. Bell, not no tea. Nope. Bell. As in bell. like like ring a bell. Right. Buckle, Tennessee. Hmm. Hmm. So not even in Georgia. Nope. 
Weird. It's Bell. It's a place in Bell. It says Bell Buckle, Tennessee, throws a party in honor of the iconic local pairing, Moon Pie and RC Cola. Mm. But, mm. but no. So I, you know, obviously last week, y'all, we we kind of we had to we had to hold off. I went on vacation, vacation for the first time in over a year. Like just just went somewhere with you know just with Brandy and and we we went on a cruise to the Southern Caribbean. I'm on a boat. It was and it was a blast. I got I got sun. I'm I finally have color again. <laughs> I'm not I'm not paste I'm not pasty white. Oh, you're not flower. <laughs> no, I am not pasty white. Um. I got a I got sun. I saw three countries that I've never been to before. Oh. Um or three Caribbean islands cuz okay. technically I think they're all they're all colonies. Um yeah, cuz Curacao, Curacao is owned by the Dutch and uh Aruba and and their their shoes, their wooden shoes. Yeah, actually, it's really funny. Um, you look on my Facebook, Patrick, <laughs> and you'll see, you'll see some. It it's wild. It's literally like they took a Dutch town, painted it bright colors, and transplanted it into the middle of the Caribbean. Wow! It was pretty. It was pretty trippy, and absolutely gorgeous. The weather was great. I did a lot of snorkeling. Nice. Um, I had a lot to drink. Uh, you know, soda I... and soda and stuff. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can get behind the snorkeling, man. That's yeah. No snorkeling. Snorkeling has become one of my new favorite things. I've I done it a couple like times. That. Done it a couple times now. Fell in love with it. Yeah. Uh, and we did snorkeling in Bonaire, and that was out of this world. Um, we got to get on a a ship that, like, a boat that had been it originally. It was it's modeled after a a junk boat from Saigon <laughs> that a CIA agent built for his so he modeled it after that he built it for his family to cruise around you know the uh the Caribbean and eventually it made its way to Bonaire and it got that it, it traded hands a couple times. It got bought by a a family there, and then they turned it into an excursion. And they they redid a few things. They added some more seating on the top deck, but it's got a little motor in it. But predominantly, it's powered by the wind. It's got a big sail in the front of it that they raise and they catch the the wind. There was wild. It was so windy. But they whipped the sail up, and we sailed out to a, a little a little Bonaire is the island and uh and i'll actually i'm gonna look up the name while i'm talking but basically it when we got there uh klein klein bonaire which is dutch for little bonaire nice. and it's it's this little uninhabited island on the off the west coast of the island of bonaire and they took us on some little dinghies and we went up the the coral reef to like uh like 500 yards away from the main boat and the beach yeah and they basically were like okay <laughs> go on in and they you get you throw you get thrown into the water and um the current runs right along the reef nice so you drop into the water and then you just snorkel riding the current along the like you don't even have to kick if you don't want to you could That's just float cool. and you just you just float or or swim nice and slow and just go right along the right along the reef enjoying all the fish. That's awesome. And then we snorkeled again in Curacao and uh they took us to this little bay on the I don't remember what side of the island. I want to say it was the eastern side of the island. They took us this little bay and we got in the water and we 
they there was a tugboat from like the 1930s that had been sunk in the water and so it sat down it was probably in about six feet of water underneath but all the coral had grown up around it cool. and it was just i was uh, patrick I, I was swimming in a in an aquarium <laughs> i was swimming in a packed aquarium that's, that's awesome. exactly what it felt like it was absolutely amazing um but that's cool but yeah no the the dutch the dutch uh the Dutch Caribbean is absolutely uh, amazing, and it and it is uh, Aruba, um, Aruba, Curacao uh, are both uh, both owned by the kingdom of, by by the Netherlands by the Dutch, and then they also um, have uh, public bodies, uh, it, which is uh, Bonaire is part of that as well. So they're like semi-independent, but it's still, uh, it was absolutely amazing. It was so beautiful. The water was blue, like blue, blue. Yeah. It was, it was blue. Yeah. How blue Cari was Carib it? Caribbean, Caribbean water is blue. It was and Caribbean blue. It was Caribbean blue. And it was like, it was beautiful. The weather was gorgeous the entire time we were there. Um. I'm ready to go back. <laughs> I actually, we, I actually met a couple. I got a laugh. There was a couple. Um, we bought Italian ice on the street in Curacao, and the dude serving the Italian ice had a Pittsburgh hat on. Okay. I was like, I was like, oh, that's cool. Like, I know where that's at. Like, Pittsburgh, and he he was speaking in perfect English. Come to find out, he and his wife decided to go into retirement early. They quit their jobs and they moved to Curacao. And they 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 live in Curacao full time now. And they supplement their income by selling shaved Italian ice to tourists when they're in port. <laughs> <laughs> and and they and they and they do really well. They sell it like crazy, like you know, because it's hot and it was beautiful. It sells like hotcakes. And they just um, you know, they 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 live in Curacao full time now and. There's a, it was a hodgepodge of, of English and, and Dutch, and there's a local language that's spoken in Bonaire, uh, and, or in, in the Caribbean, that part of the Caribbean, which I'm trying to find the name of the, uh, uh, Papiamento. Which is a, Pleasure. it's a mixture. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, it sounds like a drink. <laughs> it's, it's, it's spoken, it's spoken in, in Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao. Because all the islands are like right next to each other. But it's a mixture of Spanish and Portuguese. And it's a Creole language that's spoken in, in the Carib in the Dutch Caribbean. The and it you heard Dutch though. That's something. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. I heard I heard Dutch. I heard German. Uh, I heard Italian, um, Spanish, Portuguese, Papiamento. Like there were so many different languages American. that were spoken. American. Uh yeah. Well, there was there was there was American, and then there was also proper British English. Uh, it was it was wild. It was an absolutely crazy part of the world to to see um it was absolutely gorgeous i can understand why uh i would talk to alex's father-in-law mark and i guess he he was waxing they 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 brag about it in bonaire they brag about it it's a diver's paradise it is and they're and it's it's on their license plates for crying out loud it literally it says bonaire diver's paradise yeah um because there are so many it's recognized as one of the best dive spots in the world. You can park on, like, I saw so many trucks on Bonaire, in Bonaire, and these trucks just had racks in the backs of the, the, the trucks for people to put their oxygen tanks. And you literally, you would just, you could rent a truck. If you're a diver, you'd rent a truck, you load up your oxygen tanks, go drive out to one of the spots uh, around the, and you just drive along the road. 
which runs right along the coast, you'll see a mark on the ground next to the road that that's a dive spot. Park the truck, grab your stuff, go out, dive, swim around, enjoy, you know, seeing the amazingness, come back, put your stuff back on, drive to the next spot. I hate you. Um, so. You eating another cookie? I missed it. Yeah. 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 It was, uh, it was absolutely, it was absolutely, uh, incredible. I would go back in a heartbeat and I, I, I don't know when I will ever get a chance. Maybe, maybe in the future, but it was, it was pretty cool. I would, I would go back in a heartbeat. Glad you had a good time, buddy. And glad you got that vacation, which you so desperately needed. So congratulations on that's that, true. man. It was, it was a nice decompression, that's for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for sharing the pictures, too, man. It's gorgeous. So in the last two weeks, something else has happened in our family. Um, that we have. There's a reason Alex is eating mom's cookies. Ugh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. So the last yeah. time we talked, I told you guys we were on Baby Watch, right? Right. Mm-hmm. So literally, uh, a couple hours after we got off, um, Liz rolled over and tapped me on the shoulder, and she said, all right, let's go. So I said, okay. So we got up. Uh, we grabbed her mom and said, hey, you got Caroline? We're going. And we drove into the hospital. At about like one one thirty in the morning, and um, we were in there in um, essentially triage for a couple of hours, and they said, "Okay, um, you are are not progressing. Uh, the contractions are slowing down, so we're going to go ahead and send you home. Uh, if they get to a certain point, or if um, your water breaks, come on back in." So we left, I think at like six, almost six in the morning, <laughs> and then drove back home. She had an appointment that afternoon. Uh, literally a couple hours after her appointment, uh, we said, "Okay, it's time." <laughs> so we drove and uh, stopped at McDonald's on the way because of both, course both of you guys know you know they they don't feed you Hungry. in the hospital. Uh, and uh, they don't feed you all throughout labor, right? You have to, to wait until afterwards because they don't want to deal with anything. So we stopped and got her some chicken nuggets and a caramel frappe. Uh, this decision would haunt me for days to come. Oh, the frappe. Oh, yes. the frappe. It was not a good <laughs> idea. Yes. Not a good idea. Yes. So we get in there uh, because quite literally her doctor's appointment, her doctor said, yep, I'm calling ahead. They're going to admit you. Um, so we already had everything in the car. Uh, Caroline was with her grandmommy. So we just stopped and then went. We get in there. We go right in the same um, entrance we came in the first time. They're like, hey, yep, uh, you guys are going to go right ahead. And they put her in a wheelchair and took her right on up. And we mm. went in and got into an admitted room at labor and delivery. So, um, had two very nice young nurses. Uh, or at least they both both looked young. I don't know. Uh, one of them, it was her first day there. Whoa. Um, yeah, so it wasn't her first day as a nurse, obviously. But it No, was right, her, right, right. She was brand new to that hospital that we were at. So the two of them are running around trying to do everything, getting everything set up, getting Liz situated. And uh, we, with, with Caroline, uh, I know how you guys are, um, you know, it, it, an epidural, right? An epidural is one of those necessary things. Uh, Liz missed out on it with Caroline because at the time that she could have gotten it, uh, the anesthesiologist at the hospital we were at, was called the three different surgeries uh two emergency c-sections and a twins thing oh my yeah so missed out on on that so this time the the big focus going in was we need to get that epidural 
So, uh, did you guys watch? Have, have you seen somebody get an epidural before? Oh, I know how it works. Yeah, I didn't watch. Instead, I was on the face side of my wife. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I was, but I, I kind of peeked around, and I, I should not have done that. Um, but prior to all of this, you know, they're, they're trying to, to get, you know, the anesthesiologist to come by and do a couple different things as well. So Liz asks for uh, some pain medicine, which they're like, yeah, we can give you the IV stuff. And then she says, and depending on what it is, I'm going to need anti-nausea stuff hmm. uh, because it, it doesn't sit well with her. Sure. So literally, um, you know, the one nurse leaves. We have the new to this hospital nurse, and she's going through all this stuff. And I look over at Liz, and she's... Um, you know, obviously feeling it. So I looked at the, the nurse. I said, uh, is, is there any way you can go check on that medicine real quick? So she goes, oh, yeah, yeah. And she leaves the room, you know, and she comes back with the other nurse. And literally, they walk in, medicine in hand, and they're scanning it in, getting ready to go. And Liz sits up and looks at him and says something along the lines of, I'm throwing up, and then turns right at me and just starts vomiting. Oh, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Best day ever. Best day ever. <laughs> so the nurses are trying to yell to me because, uh, for some reason, the vomit bags on something that you know normally happens uh, are on the opposite side of where the nurses normally stand. Oh no. Uh, and even better, like you guys, if you know, you walk into a hotel, you open up the bedside table. What's in there? A Bible. Yeah, usually a, a Bible planted by the Gideons, right? Right. Uh, no, if you open the top of this bedside table, which it's no joke, a bedside table doesn't look medical at all. Bedside table, full of barf bags. What? Full. It just so happens that it's right there next to me. So I'm like, uh, so I'm pulling the door open and I'm trying to shake one of these bags out and I'm holding it out for her, you know, trying to hold her hair back with my other hand, trying everything I can to make sure she doesn't get vomit all over her. Uh, we, meanwhile, the two stunned nurses are just staring. They're like, uh, <laughs> because... Like, this doesn't happen, their line of work. Oh, like, come on. <laughs> I don't know. So it gets on <laughs> the bed sheets. It gets on the bed, on the rails. It gets on me. It gets on the floor. It's all over the floor. And uh, for the rest of that time, all throughout labor and delivery, uh, the entire car or the entire room smelled like curdled caramel frappe. Oh man. But the 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 newer nurse no. that, that was her oh. first night, she left the room after a little bit and she came back and she was wearing a second mask. Uh huh. Yeah. And, you know, yep. she and I are, you know, running around trying to clean up all of this stuff. We're trying to clean up Liz. Uh, the other nurse is, you know, trying to strip the sheets that Liz is laying on at the same time, putting new sheets on. Um, and it's, oh, it was, it was great. But later on that night, on the 26th of April, um, right before midnight, about half an hour beforehand, uh, Theodore Joseph came into this world. Nice. So he is here, and uh, they they immediately took him from us and put him into what they call the special nursery. Um, so he didn't get to really stay with us until Thursday night. Um, so he was it was away from us. So most of my evenings with him were while Liz was sleeping in the middle of the night. I'd go into the special nursery with the nurses and get a chance to feed him, change him, do all that stuff. But uh, I actually, I got to leave the hospital with my mother-in-law to drive her and Caroline back because they came out on uh, Thursday after Theo was able to, to come into the room with us. And uh, I go and I get in the car, you know, to drive them back. And uh, that smell hits me. Mm. That, you know, curdled. Curdled. Caramel, caramel frappe, frappe because right. it was still sitting in the in the, the cup holder in the front seat. So I looked at my mother in law and I was like, "Get this out of here, please. Just yeah, dump it, throw it out the window. I don't care. Get it out of here." And I cranked the <laughs> I cranked the AC on as high as I could go and rolled down the window. So I was kind of like sticking my head out as we were driving because yeah, 
Yep. Uh, You've it, had enough. I I was very close to puking right back at her when. Uh, oh. Oh, it was bad. <laughs> It it was bad. <laughs> burr, 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 but, burr. <laughs> yeah. So that's awful. But mm. Theo is home. Uh, yes. We have been in and out of the hospital quite a few times uh, since we got home, uh, dealing with some other issues. Um, but he is he is okay. So everything is is looking back on the up. Um, he was actually on here. You guys got to see him a little bit ago. Um, but uh, mom and dad came in last week. They came in on Thursday, and uh, they've been with us through the weekend, which is why you know I'm eating mom's cookies. Cause uh huh yeah mm -hmm. yeah uh, I got I actually got to help her make them. Caroline and I did. It was kind of nice. So it's good. Glad you're enjoying it, Bob. Yeah. Hey, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. So. so my boy turned 18 this year and your boy was born this year so. oh my gosh i was thinking about that the other day isn't that wild i got that his mom, graduation card in the mail today mom yeah. and dad's grandkids yeah. are literally they're bookended eight the, an adult and a newborn of a newborn mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and everything uh, in between that's right man Oh, well, congratulations, Bob, to you and your family. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, what about you for the last two weeks, man? What you been up to? Ah, uh, so last weekend we went to Owensboro, and uh, we celebrated uh, Mary Julia. So that's uh, Carrie's aunt on her dad's side. Uh, we celebrated her life in a memorial service. Mm. Uh, she she passed away in uh, 20, 2020, and we just now were able to get the family together for a memorial service. Uh, and then we celebrated a wedding of uh, the flower girl that was in our wedding. Uh, she got married that weekend. And so uh, 20 years apart from that deal as well, which is... Oh, my gosh. Kind of wild and crazy. But... Uh, <clears throat> I'm telling you, man, it's it's some good stuff. And here's another thing, fellas. My youngest, my youngest and my best, my Julia, she uh, she earned her driver's license. I this saw week. that post. She earned it this week. I'm telling you guys, she she did a great job. She parallel parked and she hit it the first time. Uh, didn't have to redo it. She square, you know, really great job. And, uh, yep. She's been driving to school and driving to choir practice and doing a very good job at it. So proud of my girl, guys. Proud of my girl. She's uh, she's growing up quick. Um, beyond that, this this weekend was was nice and laid back. Mowed lawn, got the chill, do some laundry. Uh, watched Moon Knight, gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, like it? Uh, have, uh, Greg's like, nope, have it. <laughs> have it? No. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, so Oscar Isaac or Isaac Oscar. I can't remember. What Oscar it Isaac. Oscar That's the act. Yeah. Okay. Gentlemen, he does a good job. He does a good job. That's exciting. The story is interesting. So if you've got any kind of uh, Egyptian mythology understanding, it's it's pretty good, uh, but leaves it on one of those. Really, like they're all out now, Greg. So you can binge watch the okay. whole season. Um, I it's, it's worth I it. finally I finally finished uh, the Expanse. Really, got through it all. Okay, from start to um, finish. So I watched most of the first season, part of the second season, and then I fell off. So. Oh. Can I catch all of it on Amazon? Is yes. all of it on Amazon? Yeah, you can stream the all the seasons from start to finish on Amazon. Right. I'll check that out. I I watched it while I was doing a lot of laundry. <laughs> That's a lot of laundry if it you watched a whole series. <laughs> oh, I know. I mean like I was doing other stuff too, but <laughs> I do. I have a lot of laundry. No, I just right. I watched I watched a lot of it when I was doing laundry. Laundry is what he said. Laundry. Says. No, I was laundry. doing laundry, like laundry laundry, folding folding sheets. Like dirty laundry? Yeah. 
Sure. <laughs> all right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, Patrick, I've only watched the first episode of Moon Knight. Yeah. We have to be really careful what we watch around Caroline because she'll start to say, that's scary, and then we can't uh, watch it. Got it. Like, I've only seen the first episode of the Book of Boba Fett. And by the first episode, I mean the first ten minutes. Yeah. I got <laughs> you. I got you. So. Check it out. Oh, I definitely it's, will. It's quality. Yeah. I enjoyed the first episode, man. It was good. If it keeps going from there, yeah. But the the suit... Yeah, yeah. The when, suit. when he says, put the suit on, put the suit on, he puts the suit on and it's a suit. Uh-huh, yep. That's pretty yeah. good. I love how there's the duality of it. Yeah, it's... Oh, yeah. I've enjoyed it. It's good. It's so good. So, yeah, check it out. All right. Well? I believe it's Greg. Greg? Yes. Is it your turn? Uh, yes. Is it? Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, uh, Justin says make sure to watch the end credit scene in that last episode of Moon Knight. Yes, yeah. I, thank you, Justin. Quality. Because that's the kick in the teeth at the end of the episode. At the end of the series, excuse me. So, no spoilers. Definitely check it out. Wait for it. Yeah. Ah, kick it, Greg. Uh... I lost my spot. Give me one second. One second. One second. Nice. Mom and dad were watching Jeopardy. Apparently, it's a thing. Like, because they looked and like, did did the Canadian chick get kicked off? And I was like, I don't know. I haven't been watching Jeopardy. <laughs> they, I don't know. <laughs> they follow it pretty regularly. Okay. Is it okay? Yep. All right, here we go. What you got? Uh, we'll do uh, seven minutes. Ooh. Uh, these aren't yeah. rapid. They're rapid fire questions. Um, answer them as quickly as possible. Uh, that way we're not, we're not keeping too long on any one question. All right. Uh, Rapid we'll go, got it. we'll Rapid go fire. in order. Uh, PGA, Pro Golf Association. I go first or Patrick goes first, then me, then Alex. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That would be GPA. Oh, so it's a GPA. <laughs> we're not doing, that we're not doing that. Failed yeah. At in high school. Do a grade point average. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Marine. 1.0 <laughs> winner. All right. All right, ready in three, two, one, and go. And right. Patrick, favorite yes. superhero? Oh, um, mm, uh, oh, uh, oh yeah. man, really? There's, there's too many, dude. There's I, way too many. I, um, oh, 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 come on, uh, uh, Iron Man. There you go. Really? I thought yeah. it was gonna be Wolf. I thought it was gonna be Wolverine. I it was almost convinced. was. Almost was. Um, mine is. Probably most right right now. I I love Deadpool. I I, I want another film. They, those they make you me just laugh. Like Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> yeah, I love Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds Al is my favorite superhero. Yeah, Ryan he Reynolds is my, your yeah. favorite yeah. superhero. Yeah. But no, so it's a tie for me between Franklin Richards and Molecule Man. Wow, it's <laughs> random. Yeah. Very well then. Franklin Richards. Yep. Who's that? Uh, he is the Omega class mutant that is the son of Sue Storm and Reed Richards. That's cool. Yep, he literally is uh, friends with the Celestials because they consider him an equal. And you're getting you're getting Dude. like yep. like really specific here. Yeah, you, you um, okay? Rock right. and roll. Uh, no, what are the great. things? What things would you bring with you in a zombie apocalypse? Oh, um. A sword. Yep. Um, a fire starter and water purification. Okay. Just call me Michelle. Not Michelle. My, my... Mich Michelle. Michonne? Michonne. 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 Yeah, I need the dreads. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's just like, I think it's that. Maybe uh, it's Maybelline. 
<laughs> um, food to start with, water purification, long range rifle, pistol, and a hatchet or an axe. I think Alex went to go get his. Couldn't find it. Uh, okay. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, oh, a, a knife. Alex would just bring a knife. <laughs> For the win. <laughs> no, I'd probably take my truck. It's got everything in it. It has everything <laughs> in it. Yep. Noted. If you could teach a dog one trick, what would it be? Fetch. Math. You took mine. <laughs> <laughs> or speak. <laughs> Hello. <gasps> Hello, my name is Doug. <laughs> uh, do you ever watch a full ad on YouTube, or do you always just skip them? Depends. Yep, every once in a while. At least 31 seconds of it. Because then they get the... Then they get the monetization, yes. They get the monetization. Smart. Smart. If someone would let you borrow their car, where would you go? Oh, goodness. Uh, <laughs> Mexico. <laughs> Drive through. Oh. <laughs> Probably home. Free uh, car. Uh, yeah, good point. Nice. All right. Uh, what what flower would you prefer if you awoke as a flower one day? <laughs> a dandelion. Because, man, have you seen those things when the wind comes through? <laughs> uh, I like uh, tulips. Two whips? <laughs> Two whips. Define flower. Oh, Oh, I don't think he's prepared for that, Alex. I don't think so either. Mm -mm. No, no, he, he says I pass. I'd probably be a tree. <laughs> a tree. If I was a tree, if I was a tree. I'd send like this. <laughs> uh, what's the last food you ate? Oh, mom's cookies. Shut it. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Uh oh, green tea. Mmm. See subway. 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 My I had cookies. a subway. Yeah, the subway. Uh, what was something you really wanted to do as a kid but never had the opportunity to do? Learn to fly. Join the circus. Play baseball. Really? Yeah. Did not know that. No way. Yeah. I play intramural softball right now, and I am terrible. <laughs> I struggle. I our our know. our softball our softball season just started, and they're 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 doing tryouts. Yeah, thankfully they didn't do tryouts. Yeah, same. I would not. Have uh, do you know any funny pickup lines? Hey, watch this. <laughs> um no no i don't <laughs> no <laughs> nice shoes nice, <laughs> nice shoes all right what's your least favorite board game uh, <laughs> monopoly <laughs> uh yeah monopoly i love monopoly yeah <laughs> i know we know trust That's us exactly why we know thanks grandpa uh, as you like to call it monopoly 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 uh, all right less than a minute uh when you reach the age of 80 what mm. will matter the most to you my health um yeah same that's that's really good i was i was thinking more along of like experiences but boyle my family right right uh what brand of smartphone do you dislike the most <laughs> this will this will be this will be fun samsung <laughs> apple apple <laughs> 
<laughs> Have you ever had to run from the police? <laughs> Does dad count? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is why I know we're brothers, because that was the exact same thing that was going through my head. As soon as I said that, I, I was, oh, man. And that, gentlemen, is time. <laughs> oh, love you, Pop. <laughs> I love you, Dad. I'm sorry. That was uh, I was I, I as soon as I said that I was I was waiting because it it's the first thought that went into my head. I was yep. like, I think we've all like oh crap. <laughs> I did something I wasn't supposed to do. I'm about to get Run. in trouble. Oh. <laughs> Run, do 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 do. There you go, Alex. There's one for you tonight. <laughs> Yay! Because I definitely that the AWOL Nation just popped into my head. I just won an award for most secretive person in the office. Can't Getting... tell you how much that means to me. <laughs> yeah. What does Jeff Bezos do before bed? Uh, rolls in his giant mound of money like a dragon. <laughs> It's smog. It's <laughs> smog. No, silly. He puts his pajamas on. Oh. <laughs> I think my phone is broken. I pressed the home button and I'm still at work. I was about to say, is it an iPhone? Oh. Oh. <laughs> As he drinks his tea. Okay. <laughs> Not tea, but that works. My wife accused me of hating her family and relatives. I oh, replied, yeah. no, I don't hate your relatives. In fact, I like your mother-in-law a lot better than I like mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I can't say that one. Nope. Uh, David Hasselhoff has started referring to himself as Hoff. It's less of a hassle. Yeah. No, <laughs> mom asked, "Are you going to take me out to a restaurant for Mother's Day?" <laughs> Kid replies, "We have food at home." <laughs> <laughs> My, how the uh... tables have turned. <laughs> Oh, uh, I haven't heard this one in a while. Why do chicken coops only have two doors? Otherwise, it'd be a chicken sedan. <laughs> if they had four, they'd be a chicken sedan. Yeah. <laughs> what do you call 26 letters that went for a swim? Alphabet soup? No, that's a good one. Mm. Alphabetical. 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 <laughs> uh, my wife asked if she could have a little peace and quiet while she cooked dinner. So I yeah. took the battery out of the smoke detector. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Two fish are in the tank. One says, how do you drive this thing? <laughs> I went to the doctor and he said, you've got hypochondria. I said, not that as well. <laughs> <laughs> My therapist says I have a preoccupation for revenge. We'll see about that. <laughs> As one door closes, another one opens, he said. That's all well and good, I said, but until you fix it, I'm not buying the car. <laughs> <laughs> when life gives you melons, you might be dyslexic. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, that one was funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
two muffins are in an oven. One muffin turns to the other and says, is it hot in here? The other muffin says, oh my god, I'm talking muffin! <laughs> Sorry, headphone users. I apologize. What do you call a farmer that doesn't like tractors anymore? Oh. I'm not oh. sure I like this one. An extractor fan. Extractor fan? Extractor. Extractor yeah. fan. No, no, I like that one. Uh, what did Zero say to eight? Nice belt. Nice belt. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it takes guts to be an organ donor. Yes, it does. My <laughs> wife's my wife's oh. furious that our next door neighbor who sunbathes topless in her backyard. Okay. Personally, I'm on the fence. <laughs> Family channel. <laughs> Family channel. <laughs> My wife bet me a thousand dollars I couldn't turn spaghetti into a car. What? You should have seen her face when I drove pasta. <laughs> drove pasta. <laughs> what kind of music do chiropractors like? Oh, something break, to do with cracking, break dancing. Break dancing. No. Hip hop. <laughs> hip pop hip pop 85% uh, of Americans don't know how to do basic math thank god I'm part of the other 25% it's a math joke the math joke <clears throat> I love math jokes <laughs> I, I, that's why I want to teach a, that's why I want to teach a dog to math yeah well, um because I can't math because it's <laughs> <laughs> so, a scarecrow says this job isn't for everyone but hey it's in my genes <laughs> and what do you call your mom's angry french sister <laughs> a, a, a croissant <laughs> <laughs> uh, man yeah <laughs> That's man jokes for you. That's dad jokes. That is dad jokes. For the win. Yay. Why? What? What? All right. Why is the why is the divorce rate so high with tennis players? Because love means nothing. To them, love means nothing. <laughs> Nicely done, sir. Thank that you. was that was quality. Good Thank work. You. <laughs> A croissant. A croissant. A croissant. <laughs> croissant. Oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, we have we have reached that magical number of an hour, uh, but it has truly been a great time had by all for, well, at least by us three. I can't tell about you. What about Justin? Justin, did you have a good time, buddy? You still in the chat? He is still in the chat. He threw a dad yeah. joke in there. It says, what's it called when a cow spies on you? Oh, no. I don't know. It's a stakeout. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. I like it. I like it. I like it. Well, thanks everybody. Uh, this has been episode ninety-eight of Brothers in Arms podcast. Again, at this side of the show, I'll tell you again. Catch us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Brothers in Arms pod podcast. Yes, podcast. podcast. You too could be like Justin joining us tonight live. Nice. Uh, but you're not anymore because we're getting ready to leave. So next time, catch us out on Twitter at your BIA podcast. You'll find out when we're going live. Or you can even get in Twitch and press that little button and it will notify you when we go live and you could hop right in here with us. That that's other that's also an option. You can also find our stuff on YouTube at Brothers in Arms Podcast. That's all one word. And uh yeah. Love to have you here. But we also love those who download us and check us out later. So thank you very much. Uh, gentlemen, it's been a pleasure and an honor sharing tonight with you. Thank you very much. Uh, hopefully, Alex, you got a few more days left before you got to go back to regular work? Uh, yeah, it depends. I either have a week and a day or a week and a half. Nice. Well, we'll hope for the latter. We'll hope that you get a week and a half. I do, too. That'd be great. That'd be great. All right. Well, uh, I think I'm squared away for next weekend. I think I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be here. Greg? 
Uh, yes, I will be yes. here. Sweet noise. Okay. Well, look for us hopefully on Sunday. We'll see what we can do. It's going to be episode 99, fellas. Nine, 99. 99? 99. It's going to be great. So, uh, Actually, and yes. getting up there. We are. We're getting old. Getting old, boys. Field in my bones. Oh. Field in my knee. Showing it on my chin. All right. <laughs> yeah, you too. Look at that. Poor Greg. <laughs> Doesn't have a beard. He has beard. I, I, trust me, I, I tried. <laughs> All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're out of here. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful week. Parting words for the masses, Greg. Alex, you can go first this time. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I'm on the spot. Is this a new leaf for Greg? It might be. Ah, huh. I could say what Greg always says. You could, but go I'm ahead. not gonna. Oh, I'm just gonna say, do what you love and love what you do. Hug your family, and if it means doing what you love. Be the blue player. <laughs> Be the blue player. Someone at the you... table's got to play blue. Yeah. Might as well be you. Oh. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Greg? So, I will leave you with this, uh, because one, it makes me laugh, and two, it actually is kind of cool. So I sent you guys a post there in, uh, in, yeah. uh, I see yeah, it in the Discord. So it is pronounced Dusha E. Okay. But uh, it's usually, you'll hear it as Dushi for short. And it means to, you know, it means beautiful. It means, dare I say it, sexy. It's, it means, you know, it's, you can, it, be used to saying uh calling someone a sweetheart it is it is it is it is papa miento and it it traditionally just means sweet nice or good so gentlemen stay douchey <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and also I, drink water uh, and yes. drink water, change, change, change your socks, and take your Motrin. Socks and take Motrin. Yeah, I I thought we literally did this in reverse. Typically, I'm the one that gives the the self help. Alex is the one that gives <laughs> the random <laughs> the 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 help that that does well, and that Greg starts us off with. Don't forget, take water, change your drink, Motrin. Drink water, drink take water. Change Take your, your motion and uh, change drink your socks. Your socks. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ew. Ew. <laughs> you don't. No, no, you don't. No, do you don't do that. You don't That's gross. That. But <clears throat> we got it, and we are one. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for listening to us. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching us. Hope you have a wonderful week. We'll talk at you later. Love you guys. Love you too. Love you too, Mike. Bye. Bye. They douchey. <laughs> I'm not making that our title. Nope. <laughs> okay. It's 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 spelled so it's trouble. Ugh. Why it's not it's not bad and it's spelled D U S H I. It's not thing. even look at the smolder. It that's cute. That's the smolder. He that's he's cute. Gosh, he's got he has the It's a good kid. It is a good kid. Good kid. We started him off by watching Star Wars. Yes. He's watching the first one. Dun, dun, dun. I made a fourth. Dun, 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 dun. And then... Wah. Mama fell asleep. Oh. Oh. Yeah. She was holding him. Dad's on his phone. Bum, 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 bum. She's a couple of other humans. Come on. Uh, smaller. Taco. And yes, it is It is pronounced douchey. Do I would think it'd be douche. No, douchey. Bobby douche. <laughs> Douchey. That's cute, man. Just leave it. He is adorable. Is there a banana on your phone? Yes, with a cat in it. Nice. You gotta have a cat banana. Cat banana. Cat banana. Cat banana. All right, I think that's it. Bye, everybody. All right. Very well. <laughs>
Bye. Bye.